Karma. Americans lost faith in Sussex's charitable institutions, they face to become penniless. Americans are becoming more cynical about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's charitable causes, an expert has claimed. Angela Levin, a royal commentator, who was replying to Daily Mail diary editor Richard Eden's post on Twitter, wrote that perhaps more Americans are getting more cynical about Harry and Meghan's charitable causes. The comments came after it was revealed that Prince William and Gate, Duchess of Cambridge's royal foundation has seen a massive financial boost since Harry and Meghan left the charity. Ms. Levin added, great news about William and Catherine's royal foundation. People want to show their support. Mr. Eden wrote in his Thursday's Eden Confidential column, when Prince Harry and Meghan quit the royal foundation they led with Prince William and Catherine, their cheerleaders predicted it would have a dramatic effect on the charity's finances. And it has, they've soared. According to Mr. Eden, the royal foundation has seen a huge surge in income last year. The editor claimed that the charity's income has almost doubled from £6.68 million raised in 2019 to a staggering £11.78 million in 2020. Mr. Eden claimed, it's the Meghan effect, one courtier jokes, somewhat unkindly. He continued, newly published documents disclose that the 2020 total includes a £2.59 million grant from American Friends of the Royal Foundation. Clearly, the California-based Sussexes haven't won over all Americans. The news comes after Meghan and Prince Harry were mocked as broke in a new American cartoon. The cartoon shows the Duke and Duchess of Sussex turning up at Buckingham Palace after their TV ventures fail. Then an irritated queen allows the couple to stay in a room with my exercise bike in it. The cartoon is from The Prince, a new satirical show made by HBO. Royal fans have already hit out branding it distasteful and disgusting. It was created by Gary Ginetti, who previously worked on hit comedy Family Guy. In one episode the Sussexes are depicted arriving back at Buckingham Palace, with Archie strapped to his father's chest. The Queen is shocked to see them, asking, what the fk are you two doing here? Harry, with his arms wide open, replies, hello grandmother, we've returned. The British monarch responds, well what kind of pact, you snooze, you lose. At this point Meghan intervenes, stating, it's just for a few weeks while we get back on our feet. The Queen then says, there's a room with my exercise bike in it and a pull-out sofa, you can use that. Meghan and Prince Harry caused a huge stir in January 2020, when they announced their plan to step down as senior members of the royal family. The couple currently live in California, just north of Los Angeles. Meghan celebrated her 48th birthday on Wednesday with an initiative aimed at helping women return to the workforce, after losing their jobs due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Before that Harry's $20 million earnings pledge to charity are accused of lying to PR for his memoir Prince Harry is able to avoid clarifying what amount of proceeds from his memoir will go to charity under US rules. A source told ET that the 36-year-old will not directly benefit from the book amid reports that he will get $20 million from it. Instead, he plans to donate the proceeds to charity. There is no mention of which charity has been chosen as the beneficiary, but the insider added that the terms for the worldwide agreement were not made public. But this has sparked questions over the amount effectively being donated. Royal correspondent Daisy McAndrew noted Harry, who received a $20 million, £14.6 million, advance for the book, had spoken before about his bills and expensive lifestyle in the Oprah Winfrey interview. Spent